This evening, Wyoming announced its first outbreak of a bird flu in a dairy cattle herd. That makes it the 12th state with an outbreak like that. Three have now been uh, caught by humans. Three humans have caught this type of bird flu in the U.S. So multiple states are now working with the USDA to ramp up testing and surveillance. Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean is asking top ag leaders how the show me state is responding. While reports of a uh, virus like this getting into the Missouri food supply is obviously concerning, state officials tell me there are multiple barriers in place before any type of disease like that could possibly reach consumer products. The, the USDA, the veterinarians, uh, the producers, they're doing their work to keep it out of the the, the food and, and keep the food safe. Scott Polk is a professor of veterinary medicine at MU and said, just like humans, when cows get sick, their behavior changes. It's like an upset stomach, okay? So, so she's got this upset stomach, so she doesn't eat. Because she doesn't eat, she doesn't make milk. The USDA is working with nine states, including Kansas, to ramp up testing on dozens of herds after multiple cases of bird flu, jumping to humans from dairy cows. Importantly, as of now, the CDC is reporting no unusual flu activity in humans, including avian flu. Though Missouri has the third most beef cows in the country, Missouri Agriculture Director Chris Chin tells me there's so far been no sign of any effect on the state's livestock. They're really keeping close eye on their herd health, but luckily so far in Missouri, we have not had any outbreaks. We haven't even had the symptoms that are common for that virus. And those symptoms would not be missed by cattle ranchers and vets. And beyond the farm, viral infections don't survive pasteurization, to which almost all dairy products we buy are subject. U.S. law also bans the interstate sale of raw milk, though it's legal to buy and sell raw milk within Missouri as well as 29 other states. Still, Chin says Missouri consumers should feel secure in what they see on store shelves. We have protocols in place to stop anything um, from entering the food chain, whether it be in the meat processing side, the dairy side, or the poultry side. There are many layers of protection there for the consumer because our farming and ranching community consumes the same food that they, they raise for consumers. Buy pasteurization, pasteurized milk, no problem, Be, feel safe. Same thing with beef. You cook the beef like it should, it kills. In Columbia, Joe McLean, KY3 News.